All right, so this is going to be another match analysis between why is this so massive? Um, between Semi the Fox and Hungry Box the Young Legend. Okay, and this is from November, so it's like a year ago. And it's going to be Fox Puff, so Fox Puff matchup. I want to say you're kind of just looking to rack damage on Puff and then get a 60 to 80 or so percent up throw up air. And then after that you're looking for like maybe 80 to 120 percent up smashes or shine or um, self nair up smashes or jab up smashes or up airs. And then after that you're looking for like, I don't know, just strong bears to push her off or random up airs in neutral. And your basic neutral game is like Shoot lasers if you have the space. Um, you can dash dance to bait out stuff and just nair through her after that to get to the other, other stage to shoot more lasers, or you just move around on platforms with wave landing to like slide around her. Um, dash up shield stop is pretty good because it'll just mess up her spacing. Sometimes you can get up smash out of shield or forward air out of shield or nair out of shield. You mess it up um, enough. What else do you look for? You kind of do. You kind of try to bear war, puff in neutral. Fox has an interesting tool where he can say this is the stage, this bar. If you do a wave dash backwards, you can do a short hop bear that covers a shitload of space because it carries all your momentum from the wave dash back. Like that would go way further than just short hopping back and bearing. Um, up tilt's pretty good too, I guess, but mostly you can't like use it in neutral. It's just this good setup for up bears because it has a different sort of knockback. Um, physics thing and up throw. Alright, so let's see what happens. Alright, and those are, <laughs> those are the nares that everyone always gives M2K shit for. If you do high nares on Puff, she can like just eat them and grab you. Even just eat them and rest if she's super risky. Oh, yeah, and your DI for Puff. Like, this is kind of good. You kind of just want to DI away for a lot of her shit at mid percents. Otherwise, if you end up DIing up, she can bear and then jump bear again, jump bear again. So the earlier you DI out, the better. It sucks, but you have to do it. And I think forward B and going for the ledge with forward Bs or going above the ledge with forward Bs and shortening them is your best recovery option. Because good puffs will almost always grab, get out there and fuck up your up B if they have time to react. Like if they are on the other side of the map. Uh oh. And you always want to DI. <laughs> you always want to DI up throw away in either direction. Probably towards the center of the stage is a lot better. Because if you DI over here, she can bear. She can uh, wall of pain you. And then after that, the up air, you always want to try to hit that tech window. It might be a perfect tech trap where you have to choose between one or the other. She goes for the up air. But I would probably try to hit both. And like maybe smash DI the up air up. Yeah, that sounds better. All right, so she up throws you here. If you don't get the DI to the center of the stage, which is what I want to say is optimal, you try to tech the platform. And if you miss the tech or you get hit by the up air before she does that, smash DI and DI it up so that you have more frames before you come down into the tech situation again. And it will refresh your uh, tech input window. But you kind of fucked that up and then, yeah, you missed the tech, so you get bodied. Um, I guess that was good. The punish for that is you have so you have so many options. It's whatever. Up tilt, up air is an interesting one. Up tilt, up air. Um, if you have time, lasers and top smashes like the basic one that's been around forever. Whoa, damn! I think you just said DI away. You might have just DI away too late. That was good. I like the tech away. There, damn. What was that? Boom. Boom. Damn, he just follows you. Yeah, that sucks. You have to do the angle here. Even though it puts you into him, you might not recognize that you weren't going to make it back from the up B, but you have to go for the angle that goes through him. And up at a, up at like a 22.5 degree angle to go here. And then you can like slide a little bit more. That's like the M2K angle when I think about it, which is like something he's always done. Instead of going straight horizontal, you go slight up. And you'll drop and grab legend. It puts you further horizontally. Or at least it feels that way. Mm. Oh no. 
<laughs> and buffer roll. Don't don't just be next to Puff. Roll out of there. Buffer roll with the C stick and shield. You got a Pokemon? Yeah. That's a good pick. If you want to camp more, Pokemon's good. Yoshi's is pretty good too if you want to just pressure her and mess up her spacing. And what'd you do there? Nair and she grabbed you for it? Do, do, do. Full hop Nair. Alright, so she's coming down. And oh, she's soft Nair. That's interesting. But yeah, that's kind of why you want to be careful of that Nair. Because she's going to be out of stun before you. So you can try to play like a more honest game. Just do sharp Nair's hit and run. And then like just look for openings off that when he's in the pressure. Like that, that's perfect. And just look for the openings when he has some pressure on him after the first Nair you get. Hmm. Well, you're going crazy with these up airs. That one have killed it. 50, I don't think. Here, you're not lasering at all. Throw some lasers out there. Ooh. Oh, damn, that hurts. Yeah, I would say just forward B more. If he doesn't cover the ledge, go for the ledge with your forward B. If he does, do it high and shorten it. Or, like, shorten it as a mix up. But it's just a lot harder for him to react to. Ooh, ooh. Oh, he's fucking with you now. Damn. Uh. <laughs> I don't know about the fuck. The punish is whatever. Do whatever you want. Bam. Okay, that's good. Alright, he kind of saved you, but not really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He'll up tilt stuff. Oh man, is that it? Jab reset rest? Okay. Yeah, it's rough. I mean, you just gotta laser run you can. If you want to play the matchup, what I think is right, laser run you can. Narrative stuff is shit. Just do a lot of dash dancing. Dash dance nares if you catch them out. Or fares. Into, like, dash dance fair covers a good range on Jigglypuff. And it sets up well for like a follow-up reverse back air or even an up air. Um, and then you have run up shield stop stuff like up smash or grab if he miss spaces. Or even run up shield stop, jump forward, shine to just put him in a tech situation, and then maybe wave land onto platform to tech chase. Yeah, it's rough. And I'd be careful with those full hop instant nares at low percents because you get punished for that a lot. And then just obviously do the text, try to hit the text when he grabs you. And yeah, the throws away. Alright, later.